not suck being in Metallica. Individually, we're, we're not really the best musicians you can find, but you put us together and we've got some magic, and I think the fans can see that, you know, they're just four guys. That could be me. That could be me up there playing as well. Their whole vibe was always, you know, we're all the same here. You know, we just happen to be the ones singing about what you wanted to hear. I got a band and my dreams would be just like them. Got my room is covered with their posters. I live for Metallica. It's an amazing thing that, that we're able to, to make music that brings so many people so much happiness. Metallica is, for me, obsession. I don't think I could get through the day without listening to Metallica. You just freaking rock. You just, like, feel the energy that comes out from them. And it just makes you rock on, man. We're on a ride, and if you want to take that ride with us, please, it'd be a lot of fun to have you with us. Be prepared to go a lot of different places there's no end point there's no final destination i have no idea what we're going but that's part of the fun i crank metallica every day you know it makes me appreciate life a lot more they're old because they love playing music they love playing a lot of people talk about the family vibe between the fans and stuff that's what it's all about for me metallica fans are infamous they're you know well known for their loyalty and their what do you say rabid vibe Metallica! Metallica! My name is Eric Nielsen, I'm a research scientist here at NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. Um, I'm in the computational modeling and simulation branch, and what we do here is solve the equations of fluid flow around an object such as an airplane. So to build up this Lagrangian function, we're going to augment that with this vector of Lagrange multipliers lambda, multiplied by the discretized steady state residual of the flow equations. Does anybody have any questions? I guess I got into Metallica about 10 years ago. Um, my college roommate freshman year played guitar. He'd, he'd play songs at night, and I was wondering, you know, what is that? And he got me into it from there, and it's just gotten, you know, more and more special to me over the years. And uh, it's basically what I put all my free time into. Me and some other guys run uh, a chapter of the fan club called Chapter of the Mad. Uh, we started about three years ago. It's, just something uh, to make the fan club a little bit more personal for, for other fans. It's hard to make a connection between, you know, what I do during the day and, you know, Metallica. I see it more as just a, a getaway. Work is pretty stressful, so when I get a chance to go out to a show or go to a party with some other fans, you know, it's a lot of fun to do that. And everybody hear me out there. First off, I want to welcome you to New York City. You guys are the bad seeds. A lot of people in the fan club just wait for their magazines to come every couple months, but I think you get a lot more out of it if you put time into it. I'm happy to, you know, give up some time and some effort to put together get-togethers like this. Robert Cotter, you just want a long sleeve? Made in L.A. shirt. How about a couple of James's guitar strings for each of you guys? And how about a stick for you? You get one of these posters. You don't have You guys are going to get a shirt for the city. Knoxville, Tennessee. I have listened to Metallica since I was 11 years old. My mom introduced me to them. I've watched her bang her head for many of years now. And I have learned to play the bass guitar thanks to watching Jason Newstead. They're my obvious idols. I'm a diehard fan. Uh, and uh, my sister is also a fan of them. And uh, she took a cool picture from Metallica. When I, this is uh, James Hetfield sleeping at the bed. I don't know how she took it. Uh, James eating a pasta. Awesome pictures. I guess over the years I've been very fortunate, you know, to come up with some pretty unique souvenirs. I've been in the front row at a lot of shows. You know, I've got a whole collection of large sticks. I've got a whole album full of souvenirs that you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. At the end of Low Man's Lyric, you can actually see him pull me up on the stage and he gave me this pick right here. 
you know, things like that. I think you can take it too far. Probably a lot of people think that I do, and but um, you know, I've got a job that keeps me grounded here, and uh, you know, I've got other goals as far as you know at work and stuff and in life. So I try and keep a good perspective. I've been really fortunate to meet these guys, and you know, just get to say hi, thanks for the music, keep it up, man. People have this preset notion of what a Metallica fan is, and I get a kick out of, you know, proving them wrong. You know, it's not all long-haired kids smoking cigarettes and stuff. It's researchers at NASA as well. Okay, and last but definitely not least, everything that's taken place tonight would have never happened if it wasn't for this guy right here, Eric Nielsen. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm the biggest music lover, but I think I'm probably the biggest music fan, and I think there's a difference. I'm the one that would, you know, sit in front of the hotels and wait for Richie Blackmore and Deep Purple Guys or, you know, Kiss or Status Quo or any of those bands that came through Copenhagen every six months, Thin Lizzy. I was the one that was obsessed I was the one that saw the shows, bought the records, but also needed the autographs and needed to feel a connection to the bands. Um, so I can, I can relate to that on a personal level. And, you know, I have had relationships with other artists like that, even after Metallica has been successful. You know, I went through a period where I was a fan of Guns N' Roses. I was sort of like enamored with what they were doing. I went through the same phase with Oasis about five, six years ago and toured to Grealls and Chains and so on. You know, basically, the first year that Metallica was formed, I mean, I spent a month following Motorhead around on tour in California and stuff like that, basically driving behind their tour bus until they got so tired of always having me in the rear view mirror that they invited me on the bus. And so you talk about guys who follow Metallica around, I can totally relate to it because when I was 19 or 20 or 22 or whatever, it filled a void in my life. Um, and I think, you know, to what is it really about? It's about filling a void, isn't it? They take away my ticket because my brother got rowdy. I can't go to my favorite band's concert because my brother got rowdy. I can't do anything. I, I try to go back in, they freaking kick my ass he back can't out. Do anything. They dragged me and him out of the freaking can't stadium and threw me on the goddamn pavement. They left me and him alone. 